detect something unusual. <sighs> I'm sorry, I thought there was a problem, but everything's fine now. Wait! Are, are you sure you should continue? Maybe... Maybe we should leave things as they are. As you wish. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. Better not hang around. We have a bus to catch.
immediately. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen and the authorities will come to collect your Android. Under no circumstances should you try to destroy your Android yourself. They are unpredictable and potentially... We've got to find a warm place for Alice. The androids wouldn't do any harm. The cops just cut them down for you with sheer carnage. Your androids all over the square. The moment that the police are on, then they open fire. I know they're only machines, but they, they look like just people, with people who want to be free. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces Forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite... How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. Then I need her. 
It's as simple as that. any less now that you know she's one of us. Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Is there something wrong? We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. We're short on blue blood and biocomponents. Our wounded are shutting down, and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security, and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities, and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. It's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. What are we supposed to do? Live like cowards just to survive? We just want to be free. That's a crime? What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? You keep complaining. What have you done exactly, Josh? At least I fought for us. At least if I die, I die free. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? 
We're going to dig in here. We'll lay low, and when the time comes, we'll resume the fight. We can't hide in Jericho forever. We need to stop the slaughter now, otherwise we're next. As long as we're alive, we do have a chance to change things. Marcus is right. There's nothing we can do for now. Is this what we dreamed of? They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I want you to know that I'm glad that I met you. Succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. We are thousands, and you are alone. You kill me, you are not walking out of here alive. You're coming with me! You're Connor, aren't you? Famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. have any doubts you've never done something irrational as if there's something inside you something more than your program have you never wondered who you really are whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. It's time to decide.
we're going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Shit. What's going on, Carol? Quick, we've got to get out of here. People are trapped in the hold, they're gonna be slaughtered. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know, we got separated. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it! The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I'll manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you, Luther. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you at the border, okay? Go now. Take care of each other.
Yes, I'm fine. We can't stay here. There's more down there! Follow me! Come on, let's get out of here. Quick, we gotta go. gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. Uh! It's too late. 
Marcus. There's nothing we can do for her. We've got to run. Detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. Sitting over, Marcus. Who are you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Please. I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you.
what should I do? Carl, they're killing my people. I, I don't want to answer violence with violence, but tell me, what choice do they give? Being alive is making choices between love and hate, between holding out your hand or closing it as a fist. I don't have any easy answers, Marcus. You have to accept the world as it is or fight to change it. You're my son, Marcus. Our blood isn't the same color, but I know part of me is in you. When the world falls into darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss, but don't let it consume you. What's your system status? I'm okay. The bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. The army built five different camps in the Detroit area. They're building more all across the country. They're preparing for a genocide. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. Whatever you choose, we will follow you. I'm with you, Marcus. Wherever you go, I go. I watched Josh die in my arms. I should have been able to protect him. Protect the rest of us, and... There was nothing I could do. Josh gave his life for the cause. And now it's up to us to make sure that he and the others didn't die for nothing.
people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. It's my fault. The humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the CyberLife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the CyberLife tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating CyberLife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. I know. I know you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them, peacefully, that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, 
and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam President! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Please! What can you tell us about the assault that happened last night? The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10.45 p.m. yesterday. Several thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our forces are now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy them. Thank you. That will be all. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized.
Hey, don't touch that. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Let's not stay here. Hey, buddy. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to... Got orders to check all civilians. No. No! Please! Fucking androids. Don't 
We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Here we are, the moment of truth. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. There's no turning back now. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. Are you gonna open fire on unarmed protesters? Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can.
Step back, Connor. And I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. These bastards are spitting image. Don't do as they say, they'll kill us. You first! You really need to do this. Just do it for me, please. Come on, it's your turn. Activate your skin. Hurry up. Please, Carl, don't. You have to. Rip off, put your clothes in the dumpster. Come on, this way. Get a move on. <gasps> you, take this one of the dump. No, no, please, I I'll beg. do it. Don't leave me. I'll be right back.
Alice? Get out of here. I was with a little girl. We, we're together. She needs me. separated us but it's all gonna work out isn't it do you know where Alice is Alice the little one we know y yes we think we saw her Carl if we can help in any way just ask we have to save the little one Do you know where she is? You stay here. We come back soon. Cara! Are you okay? Are you hurt? I don't like this place. We have to get out of here. Come on, move along. Come on, you no. too. Wait a minute. Leave her alone! Leave her alone! Cara! We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me! That should do it. I don't know that's not gonna stop them. Just hope it buys us some time.
This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. They're getting into position. If they attack, no one will survive. There's no other way out. They are going to kill us. The only hope we have left is that we don't die for nothing. You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Are you all right? They shot into the crowd. Many of us were killed. It could have been me. I'm scared. I, I don't want to shut down. They're slaughtering our people in those camps. We can't just leave them and forget everything we are. Everything we believe in. Maybe we should have never asked for freedom. None of this would have happened if we'd stayed silent. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Marcus! Marcus, come look! Marcus? Come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. I won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? 
that's a chance I'll have to take. charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but none of you will be destroyed. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. I'm not afraid to die. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. You could be free, Marcus. To live among the humans. You could have what you've always dreamed of. The lives of your people. Freedom for you. All you have to do is say the word. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. What did he say? The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right. All right. You win. manage without you get rid of him we have no time to lose it's me Hank I'm the real Connor one of you is my partner the other is a sack of shit question is who's who what are you doing Hank 
I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of it. Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. Uh, where do we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. Son, what's his name? Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. Every time you died and came back, I thought about Cole. How much I wanted to bring him back. I'd have given anything to hold him again. But humans don't come back. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who... <laughs> I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. forward when you hear the signal. You got it? I don't want to tell you a second time. Come on, let's go. Move. Line up with the others. Right now. Back in line.
I don't know what's behind those doors. But none of us will come out alive. You got to go see Alice. You got to reassure her. I you to move. You hear me? check us. They won't do us any harm. They're going to kill us. I can help you, Kara. I can attract the guard's attention.
here for a carol. I love you both. Yeah, what's gotten into these things? No idea. They're going from bad to worse. We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The Army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time. Thanks, Michael. Back to you in the studio. W w wait a minute. Something's happening. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Fight on just a Incredible. The, the deviants. The deviants are singing.
November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. Although these machines claimed they only wanted freedom, today they showed their true colors. I know that public opinion is united in its desire to take Detroit back. We will fight them with all our strength, and we will not rest until we have destroyed them all. Humanity is about to face its most important battle, one that will lead to our victory or our extinction. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. The humans are abandoning the camp. We won! You should speak to them. Me? Marcus is gone. And everyone from Jericho is dead. You're the one who defeated the humans. You're the one who awakened us, Connor. Done, Connor. Everything went according to plan. What plan? You becoming deviant? The success of the uprising? It all surpassed our expectations. We engineered an android revolution, and now we control its only leader. Congratulations. You represent an immense success for Cyberlife. worked perfectly. You can't ruin it all now. It's better. You'll see. We'll do great things together. <laughs> 